All right, guys, we are here with our good pal, Ben Goodall, down in uh, Australia at Trisled. Ben, how are you doing today? Doing great. Thanks for having me. It is great to have you. All right, well, we're going to talk mostly today about the Rotovelo 2. We chatted about it last year in our last update, but there's been some developments since. But if you could bring our viewers up to date briefly, could you describe the differences uh, in the Rotovelo 2 over the Rotovelo, the original? Yeah, sure. Just response to rider feedback over the last 10 years from the first one. Uh, primarily, there is uh, more cockpit room, so it's a little bit more room for your shoulders for some of the taller riders and sit your head down uh, in the canopy a little bit more. Uh, we've gone to a centre steering, which um, so like a centre tiller steering, uh, except it has a, a, a U handlebar and full-size brake levers and full-size grips. Um, in, again, in response to user feedback about all Valenbills, not just ours, that they wanted positive hang control of the vehicle and good size uh, control levers and things to feel like they're in control of it. So we've gone to the centre steering and uh, we've changed our front step, front end geometry and track width uh, a little to, um, to to get the wheels more into the wheel arches to, to improve um, uh, spray from, from water and so on. And, and the obvious one is adding suspension. Uh, so we've got uh, lots of air, air, um, air suspension in the back around sort of it's about 80 mil, I think we settled on, and around 30 mil of elastomer suspension in the front. Uh, so, a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a huge difference from the uh, from the original, and it's been a long time coming. I know the original Rotovelo have been loved and been around for a very long time. So I think this is going to be uh, welcome. Now, let's uh, jump then into uh, talking about the production and delivery. Uh, since you've had a time to, time to start uh, building them and selling them, uh, I just saw something recently on Facebook about you selling uh, – the second uh, Rotovelo 2, and I know that that, uh, that Rotovelo 1 that sits behind you looks a little beat up. Uh, there's a story here about all this. Uh, ben, tell us about this uh, this latest sale, the Rotovelo 2, and uh, and what it has to do with that behind you. Sure. Um, this one behind us, I think, is just a great example of making the point about Rotovelo, and that is that it's an ultra-durable and usable Valmobile. Uh, and it's a, it's a vehicle for adventure. It's not, it's not a showpiece. It's um, arguably not as pretty as other Velmobiles, but it's all function. It's all business is, is what we, how we feel about Rotovelo. And so uh, this one here actually belongs to or did belong to Mark Doble or Rotovelo across Australia, if you follow him on socials. Um, we estimate, well, sorry, he estimates that this has done 70,000 kilometres of his own miles. And he's the third owner of this vehicle. So we think it may well be approaching 100,000 k's. And it's still in quite usable order. It's due for retirement, but it's still in quite usable order. Um, but as part of um, the, the transition to the two, uh, Mark has uh, ordered and received uh, the second of the, um, of the, I guess, the production of the Rotovelo 2. And he's got just as many big adventures for the, for the next one as he has this one. Um, the more you look at this, it's like a showpiece. You know, it's, 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 it's had direct hits with wild animals, close calls with cars. It's been across the Nullarbor, Australia, or Southern Hemisphere's longest, straightest road. Uh, and it's been on some of the roughest roads in Australia. And so we, 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 we'll challenge any other automobile builder to take their vehicles where this one's been and for it to finish up in such great shape. And we feel that that's what, what is unique about Rotovelo. And we're obviously trying to uh, continue that development and, and, and that journey with the vehicle. Yeah, uh, clearly uh, one Velomobile that's known for its near indestructibility. It's um, it's made of uh, polyethylene or low density polyethylene, and it's the same material that we used in like whitewater kayaks, um, and used quite popular here in Australia to make water tanks out of because we store a lot of water here. So the process is quite available here, which is the original journey of of Rotovelo. Um, one other nice thing about polyethylene is its low carbon footprint and its recyclability. Uh, we estimate probably about 85, 90% of the vehicle behind me could be actually recycled with current technology, which is another unique thing we think about this vehicle versus other, other methods of building a automobile. Super. All right. And then in terms of uh, its production and sales, how are you doing now on that? If, uh, if one wants to order a uh, Rotovelo 2 today, what's the process and how long does it take? Uh, pretty much you put your deposit down and wait. <laughs> um, 
but in all seriousness, we are delivering uh, the first of the five. We're finishing up our first five and it's this week, actually. So uh, we've got two out in the wild, uh, one with about 1,000 kilometres on it coming in for its um, inspection, actually, in the next week or two. And that's just a look over to make sure everything is as it should be. Obviously, Mark getting the second one is going to be big miles quickly too, so that's going to be great um, great for us to sort of keep an eye on his. Uh, winding up these five, we're then moving into, uh, I think, a batch of 10 or 15, which are our awesome forward order customers who have put their $450 down and agreed to wait and, and, and hope. Uh, so we want to reward those guys first and make sure that they get their vehicles uh, once we're in the batch of those over the next sort of uh, couple of months, we're hoping or probably about mid to actually mid year to actually have a portal on the website to place an order for a Rotovelo too. Uh, but at this stage, you can still join the forward order program if you want to. So, yeah. Very good. All right, and let's finish up with any other uh, updates you may have from TriSled. What else is going on that we might need to know about? Any hints about future plans or uh, what's going on at TriSled these days? Uh, we're, we're now the Australian distributor, obviously, for Greenspeed and Terratrike, so we've been super busy there, and um, I've really been enjoying having all three brands in the shop. The diversity is immense that we can help a lot of people here and also serve our deal as well, so that's keeping us super busy. Uh, but also, excitingly, the, um, the Hymn Powered Vehicle Racing Team, uh, racing season and teams are starting to get uh, uh, wound up, uh, excited now, I would say. We're probably going to have a real season of Hymn Powered Vehicle Racing here in Australia. Finally, again this year, uh, three of the racing organisations have posted calendars of uh, events they're planning to run. So uh, we're stocking up on tyres and windscreens and um, and getting the audibles ready. We're expecting this year to be the year where HPV racing is back. So uh, this is going to be a massive year for TriSled, and um, we're um, we're sort of battening down the hatches here. We, we think we're going to be super busy. So yeah. Sounds terrific, Ben. So pedal pre back in action, full full bore again, as well as other HPV racing as well. Well, that's great, uh, Ben. Thank you so much for uh, spending a little time with the Laid Back Bike Report, as you always are generously giving of your time. So we will see you again soon, and good luck to you, pal. Always a pleasure talking to you. Thanks for having us again. <laughs>